Well, many parents find it difficult to talk to their kids about all these protests going on, but a group of Huntsville moms actually tackled the issue in their own way. Kanisha Dees has their story. Dozens of families sat at Big Spring Park to read books about civil rights and social justice to bring about change, and they're hoping to do that one book at a time. I think it's a message that resonates in the community right now, and a lot of families are, are dealing with this and trying to figure out how to talk to their kids about what's going on. And Emily Alam and several mothers in Huntsville say their children have been asking questions about the protests and police brutality following George Floyd's death. They decided to lead the change on racial injustice with literature. Huntsville PD Sergeant Timothy Richards say we may not see the change today, but at least a seed was planted for future generations. The seed of love, the seed of change, the seed of tolerance has been planted, and the issues that are plaguing us today, we are very confident that they will be the change we want to see. One mom says she's seen the impact today's read-in has made on her six-year-old daughter, Zoe. Um, you know, she talks about love for everyone, all colors, and so it's, you know, it's really awesome hearing her say things like that. Alabama State Representative Anthony Daniels says it's up to the current generation. Everything that I'm doing is for this young man here and those that are, that are those young people that are out there. And so our job today should be to make their lives better so that they don't have to relive what we live or our grandparents live. And organizers say it took just about three days to plan this protest. Putting the Valley first, Kanisha Dees, WZDX News.